Welcome back to First Fed Nerd, I'm Philip Molina. And I'm Whitney Moore, and today it's very exciting because we have more weird computer experiments to show you. Ooh. That's right. <laughs> and uh, spoiler warning, it's not much better than the last time we did uh, Quick Draw. I see hockey stick, or square, or door. Oh, I know, it's phone. Oh. Oh, I know, it's hot air balloon. Though it does implement some of the same ideas. A new program called Pix to Pix aims to help translate doodles online to actual images by mapping the data and then attempting to replicate it using stitched together pictures of the thing that you're trying to draw. The four things that the program is starting out with, it's a shoe, a cat, a building, and a purse. And when you try to draw any of these things, it'll use its library of images of that thing that you're trying to draw to translate your doodle into a real thing. Does that make sense? Yeah, you followed that, right? Okay. <laughs> or you could just be like us and draw whatever you want to create her Terrific mutant hell beast made out of kitten parts. <laughs> kitten parts. According to the mission statement, Pix to Pix can be used to create images from label maps, reconstruct objects, and colorize photos. It's a bit like the Deep Dream technology, only less like a horrible acid trip. To put this new software to the test, we rounded up as many people as we could to make the best slash worst slash funny slash most horrifying out of each category. Skipping the buildings, because Whitney hates pictures of buildings. Let's do it. I've been instructed to draw a cat I want to hang out with, whatever that means. If I were to hang out with a cat, it'd probably be fucking hot as shit. It's gonna be a real cool cat. It's gonna be a real sexy cat. Let's make her a little sassy, all right? See, she's got like kind of a sexy cocked ears. I'm gonna give her real smoky eyes. Ding. There, see, she's got little eyelashes. Cute cat. Cute cat whiskers. I'm just a fool for you, kitty cat. <laughs> oh yeah, pucker up, baby. This is really difficult. Has everyone else talked about how difficult this is? Using a mouse is not <laughs> that much easier than the trackpad. So they've got a cute base, chubby thighs, and a tail as far as the eye can see. All right, I'm a... <laughs> I like I saw Subtick doing this and I really wanted to do it, but then I remember now that I'm a terrible artist. She's gonna be yelling. She has fangs. Hell yeah. I kinda wanna draw the cat with an apron on so it cooks through me. Is that allowed? A cat skin apron. <laughs> Sounds cool. So next up you want it to have a bit of a pudge, because that's the kind of cat I want to hang out with. And then you want it to have a circle, like a cream puff filling right in the middle of the, the cat. There's so much pressure, because I know it's gonna look all goofy. You wanna have arms that sit down like this? Sort of like tits, but it's arms. Ooh, yeah. Rear. She's got a sexy set of uh, paws. Oh, yeah. This is the worst. It's a fucking octopus. She's gonna have one of those Halloween cat bodies that curves up like that. Four paws! <laughs> Oh fuck, this is, <laughs> this is real bad. A nice head, no, fuck it. A nice head to bring it in, to bring it home. She's pissed. Hi, I'm a cool cat, You're here for Candace. I didn't take full advantage of the entire square and my cat is apparently so <laughs> Well, she has a body. Okay, here's the cat I wanna hang out with. Whoa, cool cat. This cat has some sort of disability. So then we're gonna do a couple Made its head too small. Yeah, I have a weird, it has a weird cleft underneath its t uh, nose. So I don't know what exactly happened there if it was hit by a car. It's still alive and that's what matters. And as beautiful as the cat is, I think I'm going to try again. Is it gonna get it? Do you know? Does it have to be like exactly a certain way for it to? Meow. Thank you. <laughs> it looks like a purse. This isn't good at all. This cat is looking fucking hot. I was thinking of her bunny this entire time! And this is gonna have a tiny little body. Meow. Maybe if you gave me a tablet, this would look better. He's a chill little octopus cat. He's got big <laughs> I'm a big fan of cats too, so I, I should be able to draw them better. I'm nervous. No, it's gonna be great. Now that's my kind of cat. It got the eyes, it got the ears, it sort of got the tail. Yes, queen, I love it. Cool, I'm happy with that. Oh no! He's got all 50 states all over his body. His name is America. 
and he's at war with himself right now. Well, aside from the fact that there's like a bunch of shit going on underneath that makes it look like a mushroom cloud, it actually is like pretty tight. I like this cat. Kind of looks like my cat. She is a she's a, is black and white calico. Is that what calico is? She has tits. Joel. Yeah, she does. Obviously, this is the greatest cat of all time. Anxiously awaiting my masterpiece, which I know will look exactly like oh, oh no. Oh no. Friend, what happened? <laughs> Woo! If I were really drawing an anthropomorphic cat, I would have given her multiple sets of tits, though. Oh, God, he's a nightmare hellscape. Ew. Oh, he's so gross and lumpy. I want to be his friend still, though. Neat. OK, so I was just drawing uh, the cat in the, the purse section. That's why it looked that way. Uh, we're going to move on to the right section for boots. If I want to hang out with a cool lady cat, only rock and roll glam boots will do. And they're gonna be platform sneakers, like really high platforms, like Spice Girl high platforms. I stepped in poop over the weekend in my Nikes, so I think I'm gonna just draw a new pair of Nikes. Oh, you know what? Let's draw some Yeezys. <laughs> oh man, this is a shoe I would wanna wear. Put some stars. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna give a little there. Ooh, and shape the calf. Uh-huh. Laces. Mm, mm, these aren't great, but it's okay. Okay, process. Let's see what the computer cooked up. I don't know if Kanye puts in a sort of houndstooth design. So we're gonna try to recreate that. Ooh, I'm into him. I feel like I'm doing great. I hope this turns out good. It did. That looks cool. Ha! All right. All right, that's not the worst thing in the world. I could wear that. I could see myself wearing these. It got the shoelaces. It got the inside of the shoe. And I like how it's like watercolor, but I don't like that it's blurry. It's not like clear. It's like an out of focus shoe. It's like, come on. Philip, why is there a cloud around it? It understood though that there are laces and that they're tied at the top. I would wear these shoes. 100% and I can't wait for them to be on my body very soon. Look, I just want to say to everyone out there who wants to be an artist, who wants to be a success, okay? You'll never be as successful as, as me right here in this moment, but you should try. You should always try to achieve your God damn it. <laughs> oh, and it's so out of focus too. What a gross, ugh. Ew. It, it legitimately looks like either a sunburnt steak or like one of those circulars that you get in the mail, but someone crumpled it up and threw it away. And then some water spilled on it. Okay, now a bag. I am a man, so I'm not gonna choose a purse. I'm gonna choose a satchel. I'm gonna go out on a limb here. I'm gonna go a little crazy and I'm gonna make a fringe purse. Bad idea? Yes, but we're doing it. Hmm, a bag I wanna wear. What bag do I like? Can you just get like, like a Ralph's grocery bag? Papa got this. Mm. And then let's draw the Ralph's logo. I'm gonna do the A now. I want a bag that can carry all my stuff, is practical, but also kind of like edgy. This is the handbag that I would want because it's classy. It's a classic design. Obviously, uh, I've put a lot of thought into its design. Ooh, yeah. Is that triangle, that's a pent, not a pentagon, it's a trapezoid, thank you. This is a manly, Manly satchel, and that's a magnet button. I don't know if it's gonna fill it out as a magnet button, but I, I want it to be sleek. We've got lovely handles here, designed by Louis Vuitton. Kinda looks like a potato sack, but I'm also gonna give it a, a big pocket right here. All right, and then let's do the L. Oh, that one went down a little bit too far, that's okay. And I'm also gonna give it spikes. So if anybody tries to give me trouble, I can swing it at them. I think this is gonna be a good one, Philip. It's gonna be a, a fuzzy bag. Mine is made from fake snake skin. The skin of a fake snake. And there's not gonna be room for the S. So we have just Ralph. I'm gonna buy my girlfriend this purse and she's gonna love it. She's gonna marry me because of how beautiful this purse is. Okay, process. It is basically snake skin. I'm so happy with this bag. Would I wear it? You better believe it. And I'm about to look down and it's awesome. This is incredible. And I think we all want to own it. Hey, that's not a bad looking. I mean, it, it's definitely more purse-like than I'd like it to be. Ooh, 
I don't know why, but all of the images turn out like way cooler than I <laughs> draw them. I would totally wear a bag that just says Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> easily the finest work that I have made uh, ever. It's iridescent like a jewel. In terms of like a black leather design with a cool metallic finish on top, I can get behind that. And I think paired with my rock and roll boots and my sweet lady cat date, I'm out for a killer night on the town. <laughs> this is not as funny to you guys as it is to me. There's so many eyes. <laughs> this is fucking creepy. Oh fuck, it's made of cats. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh no! No, those poor friends! What did you do? Holy shit, that is so funny. Oh, mama. Looking so nice and right. back Ooh. wow those were terrifying but hey don't let our shitty artistic skills stop you from trying it yourself the link is in the description and we welcome your shitty photoshop tweets tweet them at us also thanks to our sponsor today graze.com graze combines wholesome ingredients with the flavors we all love and they use a whole lot of imagination in them to create over 100 exciting snacks oh 100 snacks imagination i'm in every snack is a nutritionist approved health badge and never uses gmo ingredients trans fats or artificial colors or flavors just go to graze.com enter code sfnerd to get a free sampler box you can tell them what kind of flavors you like browse and rate snacks and graze is going to deliver a customized box to your home or your work if you have a job oh, if i could rate snacks for a living i'd be out of here faster than you can say keep those cats away from me keep those cats away from me ah shit <laughs> be sure to like comment subscribe slap that notification button and we'll see you next time bye bye, -bye. bye, -bye. I'm gonna go pet that weird cat. Directed by none other than freaking Wes Craven. I actually remember watching this movie as a kid and being like, what am I watching? But also it's amazing. And there might be a character who's similar to Trump. Maybe. Maybe.